Hey guys, the organization Digbo, the APIS Igbo Social Cultural Organization, on Saturday, urged President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to use his constitutional power to release the IPOB leader. They said for unity and for peace. Okay, they don't tell President Bola Ahmed Tinubu say. This is the only way peace can be, you know, returned to the Southeast and Nigeria as well. Because if Southeasterners not get peace, Nigeria as a country not will still get peace. They are Nigerians and that is the truth. They say since the court have denied Mazin and Kani's freedom because they all expected that at least the Supreme Court, you know, will follow the same line, you know, of a big court judgment. But that did not happen. So on they satisfy with the judgment. The organizing Digbo have called on the federal government of Nigeria, led by President Mon uh, Bola Metunuo, to use his constitutional power to order for Namdi Kanu's to order Namdi Kanu's release. They say he should do that. And I know say not be today this matter start. Even people, two persons self, two elders in the south is don't die, come out, still on this matter. Martin Namdekanu's release. He was never released. They don't die until they die. So it's no good. You understand? Sometimes, make we know the two the day stiff. Good and fine. Waiting don't happen, don't happen. But you cannot say the Nigerian government are not guilty with everything that has happened right from the beginning of this agitation. Now they even caused the main problem. Invading Martin Namdekanu's house in Afaroku Ibuku in 2017, that is even the real problem of this case. If these people are saying they want to go, and you want them to stay by, it's simple. Give them the reason why they should not go. You sit down in a round table talk and you discuss. We don't want you to go. We still want you. We still want you. We want, we want us to stay together. Then tell them the reason why they should stay. You understand? Then you listen to those things they are saying. Are we still going to say that what they are saying in the Southeast about marginalization is not correct? The other day, Professor Charles, that was yesterday, he said if the government do not want, if the Nigerian government do not want Igbo to be part of the governance, they should give them, you know, uh, they should leave them, let them go, let them just go on their own. Because when you look at everything that is going on right now today in Nigeria, it's like the Igbos are being excluded. And these are the reasons why they are agitated in the Southeast region. That is what started it. The federal government should look into these things. If, Ma, if the if Mazen and Kalu died today in the custody, it's not still going to stop the agitation, but it's going to worsen the whole, the whole matter. That is the reason why they should look the other way and look the other side. Not be those ones when they talk, say, hey, no release him. Hey, no release him. You know that if this man is released, the South East and herself, then go get peace. There is no East in the, they, they, there is no peace in the South East. Even we self say you want to travel, go to South East, you, they, you know they get peace. Because you don't know what is going to be for you on your way. You understand? So that is the reason why the federal government should look into this issue, not just about the Southeasterners, about Nigerians. Because people will not still be Southeast, the Southeasterners. They are still being killed. It just, it, it, you know, some people will talk, say, the unknown gunmen, say, nah, the federal government be the unknown gunmen. They know what they are doing. It's all planned work just to destabilize that region. But I don't want to reason that way. You understand? I just feel that they are just being, uh, they won't claim say them be bo the boss, but life is not like that. A king, a king sometimes they bend neck just for peace to reign. If you won't begin the, ah, nah, nah, maybe the boss, this and this and that, your reign will be disaster. That is the truth. This man should be released. Since Oganese has called federal, the federal government of Nigeria, led by, you know, uh, President Bola Metinubu, after the court declined Mazenam the Kanu's, you know, freedom, that he should please use his constitutional power 
I think that is the next thing now. Let there be political solution to the issue now and let this man go and let people in the Southeast region breathe. Also, the organizing the Igbo uh, cultural organization urge Igbo at home and in the diaspora to remain calm and maintain peace and order in the wake of the Supreme Court verdict declining to free Mazinam the Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, from detention. This was contained in a statement issued on Friday by the organizing Igbo Secretary General, Mazi Okechiku Isaguzoro, and made available to journalists. Okechiku, who described the non release of Namdi Kano as temporary setback, added that it should not serve as a justification for violence. The Secretary General further called on Indigo to collaborate regardless of political affiliations and seek political solutions for Kanu's release. He noted that some Igbos and governors uh, had earlier prayed against the non-release of Mazen and the Kanu before the court. He said to set the record straight as Igbo leaders will challenge the Southeast governors and those involved to clear themselves with IPOP. We are aware that some Igbo political elites and businessmen were, were not sincerely working for the release of Nandi Kano, and we and we are even benefiting from his continued incarceration. Organizing the Igbo France at this development and want those involved to seek their activities. We categorically deny any involvement in such action. So, okay, guys. What's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.